And God of mercy, sweet love of mine, I have surrendered to your design. May this offering stretch across the sky. These hallelujahs be multiplied. These hallelujahs be multiplied. Your love is like radiant diamonds bursting inside us. We cannot contain Your love will Surely come find us Like blazing wildfires Singing your name God of mercy God of mercy Sweet love of mine Oh, how I 
how I need you. Oh, how I need you. Oh, how I need you. Oh, how I need you. This God of mercy, sweet love of mine, I have surrendered to your desire. And may this offering stretch across the skies. And these hallelujahs. Be multiplied These hallelujahs Be multiplied Give me a shout out for you this morning We praise you Lord for you are worthy Only you are worthy Lord It's good to be in the house of the Lord, amen This song is about overcoming obstacles in our life. How many of you have obstacles? Oh, okay, you guys are doing really good. <laughs> Giving God all the glory. We know that we will go through testimonies, through, through, I mean, through trials, through difficulty, through pain. But when we come out of that, we've become stronger and we have a testimony and that will bless other people and strengthen the body of Christ. Amen. Seated above, throned in the Father's love. Destined to die, bought out for all mankind. God's only son, Perfect and spotless one. He never sinned or suffered as if he did. All of
the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, everyone overcome. partners we invite you out church I encourage you if you have hurts if you have healing that needs to take place come to the fountain and drink receive prayer it's free and it works Every 
It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs, so we.
I don't know why, but the Holy Spirit has been impressing upon me this whole service thus far that we need to open up the altar. Some of you out there are being held captive and being tormented by Satan's lies that your sin is holding you back from God's blessing. And church, I declare that's a lie. God wants you to know he loves you so much. Just like the woman at the well, he did not condemn her. Neither are you condemned. No sin, no matter how recent, no matter how bad, no matter how ugly, no matter how shameful, is stopping the love of God upon your life. So the Lord wanted me to tell you that this altar right here is open. Come repent. Come drink. Come be set free. Come to the altar.
How precious is the blood that was shed for us on that cross. The precious blood of Jesus Christ, amen. We love you for the cross, Lord. about you, but I'm actually nervous right now because I believe that God is here to do some things that I have no idea what he wants to do, but it's, it's, to, it's to do and transform, it's to change, it's to encourage, it's to challenge. What Kathy shared, some of you may be new to Journey Church, but Kathy spoke tongue and interpretation of tongue. That's, that's scriptural, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 12. Go and, go and read it. I agree with what God was using her to say that whatever you're facing right now, God will take you around it. He'll take you over it. He'll take you under it. He'll take you through it. Amen. He'll be the person that holds your hand. I agree with what our worship leader, John, was saying that it's time to come to the altar. It's time to repent. It's time, time to be healed. It's time to be restored. Come on, church. Uh, God wants, wants you to come to the altar and he wants you to to, to, to give yourself unto him. Amen. You're going to have opportunity to do that at the close of this service. Uh, with that said, I'm going to ask the prayer team that they would be prepared at the close of the service to come forward and to pray for people. The other thing, uh, as I was sitting there worshiping with you, uh, yesterday I had the opportunity to go with a, uh, a fine young man by the name of Steve from our church. And uh, we went shooting pistols. Now, how many of you enjoy shooting pistols? Raise your hand. Not very many of you, right? <laughs> and, uh, and, and he's, he's kind of a tactical guy. He, he's in security, all that kind of stuff. And, and we got talking about police officers and, and uh, you know, how awesome they are and the job that they do to protect and to serve. And uh, he said, you know, something that police officers sometimes don't understand is when they look at a perpetrator and they say, stop, you are under arrest. That means what? Stop. You are under arrest. It brings all the authority of the federal government right down upon that one individual. How many know what I'm saying? Not because you had that happen to you, but. <laughs> and I thought about that this morning. I thought about that this morning as we were worshiping and we were singing that song, Overcome. I don't know that we truly understood what we were singing this morning when we sang that song. But if you have your Bibles this morning, you can turn to Revelation chapter 12, starting in verse 10. And this is what uh, the revelation of Jesus Christ spoken to John says. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now salvation and strength and the kingdom of of our God and the power of his Christ has what overcome for the accuser of our brethren who is Satan who accused them before our God day and night has been cast down can you say hallelujah, hallelujah. and they not the people in heaven okay he is talking to people now on earth. And they overcame him, meaning Satan, by the blood of the Lamb. Can you say hallelujah? And by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to the death. Listen, I don't know what you are going through this morning. I don't know what you're facing. It's not for me, to, but God knows. And he is saying that he has overcome he is going to bring you through he is going to bring you over he is going to bring you underneath he is going to bring you around whatever it is that you face and so you got to believe that by what is the word faith you've got to believe that by faith and then you declare it by the word of your testimony can you say praise the lord Father in heaven, we thank you so much that Jesus Christ provided everything. And as John said, it's free. 
It is free. It is for every one of us to receive, to believe, and to walk in faith, knowing that you are in control. Father, I'm thinking about people in this place right now that are facing very real situations. But God, I know that you are able because the Bible says that you, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, have overcome. You have overcome. And so, Father, we put our faith and trust in you and in you alone. God, you use other entities in our world to bring about your will. We get that. But Father, we believe this morning and we put our faith and trust in you that you will allow us and have allowed us to overcome. And so I pray for those situations. Lord, I don't know them by specifically, but I know they're represented here this morning. And we ask God that you would show forth your power, your might, your love, your grace, your authority in every situation. And we thank you for it. Father, may we realize it. Maybe we need to repent. Maybe we need to change the way we're doing things a little bit to honor you. Whatever it is, God, that we would do that this morning. And Father, that Jesus Christ today and in our lives would be lifted up. And everybody in this place said, amen, amen. Hey, what we, we want to welcome all of our guests this morning. If you have never been to Journey Church, thank you for coming. If you've been here maybe just a couple times and you're just getting to know us, hey, we're kind of a weird bunch, but we love you to death, and we're glad that you're here. Let's just take about seven minutes. Let's just greet one another. Let's just share the love of Jesus Christ.